What is going on? We're going to be looking at some ranked 2v2 games. These are uh, all up through platinum, all platinum and diamond players in ones. Uh, but we're going to talk about common team mistakes, things people do wrong in the 2v2 environment, and just how to play better. So uh, let's get into it. Here in this clip, you'll see that Bryn is deep red. And she's kind of afraid to help Lucin out here. She's switching her weapons, not really engaging, whiffing a sig in an aerial, and then getting punished by a side sig from Val. And here we're gonna actually see me go down early to the Bryn. The shoe's kind of gonna be on the other foot then, where the Lucian is deep red and afraid to help. It gives stage control to my teammate. Uh, Val lets me get a weapon easily. And at the end of this game, we do clean it up with some offstage play and a blunder on their part. But ultimately, what made the difference in this matchup was just incremental advantages built up over time. And here we're going to see another 2v1 moment. I am going to pick an edge guard up, get a quick kill. And then the, the guy who just died, his teammate denies the first weapon. I'm able to take the second. And now I'm getting a guitar string on his unarmed teammate. Uh, his teammate finally gets a weapon, but it let us get the 2v1 pressure. And we have just complete map control. We're able to do whatever we want. We're able to go wherever we want. When my teammate uh, Val used that gravity cancel a moment ago, I'm on her left side protecting her, making sure she doesn't get popped uh, by, you know, by the person who's in between my teammate and I. I'm trying to not only fight my own 1v1, but always be cognizant of what's my teammate doing and how can I protect them. And here, here's a moment where we see Val come down to try and protect me. But that was some miscommunication on our part. I didn't really need it there. And instead of coming off stage, it would have been good if uh, Val had just stayed on stage and prevented uh, like a signature from happening, which is what ultimately took me out there. Here we're going to see another moment where it's Ragnar with the axe is not covering what's happening to his teammate off stage. Mordex goes for a risky ground pound. I'm not only able to cover Val but also get in position for a side air to pick up a KO. We get a 2v1, my teammate denies the weapon, we get pressure, we have stage control right now, and we're able to pick up a little bit more damage and extend our lead further. And I just want to talk about how it's important to be aware of, again, where your teammate is, what are they doing, if they force a dodge off stage, can I, can I punish that dodge for them? Is what's the best thing I can do to help them? How can I make sure they don't get 2v1? If they are getting 2v1, you know, don't just wildly jump into a group and attack. Think about what you're doing. Uh, know the strings and combos of your teammates' weapons and know how to cover common dodges against them. But anyway, thanks for watching.